What's up guys? So Supercell has done it again. They've made a brand new game and along with the help of the YouTubers that they have made famous with their other games Clash of Clans and Clash Royale, they have soft launched this game here. This game is... Man, I don't even know what the name of it's called. It's something Brawl. Let's take a look. Brawl Stars. So it's a soft launch on the Canadian iTunes Store iOS only right now, but eventually it will be everything, you know, Android, Google devices, all that craziness that they normally do. And it is a, a weird little game that is a lot of fun. So it's a 3v3 MOBA. It's also a single player game. And it's also got 3v3 like campaign stuff, break the banks. Uh, but so let's go and do the each day these things refresh and there's different ones. So the top here is a bounty temple runes. Let's jump into this one. You can go bot brawl, which means you play against other computers. You don't really earn stuff for doing bot brawl. You can do the basic brawl here, which is what we're going to do. You then get a select from your group of heroes. There's 15 total heroes. And just like in Clash Royale, you're going to be leveling up the heroes via experience. And then also like potions and stuff, elixirs that you're going to be earning in game. And then, of course, purchasing from the cash shop. So definitely pay to win components here. It is Supercell, so don't expect anything less each character has different unique abilities you start off with sally so let's go ahead and start off with sally here and it's got this western theme i love the western theme you de definitely need both hands to play you can see you got touch screen or you have a joystick and it's a 3v3 and in this mode so there's a couple different modes you can't go through these like structures these walls but you can break them down with special abilities and it's you versus your opponents here in this battle, it's all about killing your opponents, and if you retreat and don't attack, don't take damage, you're going to regenerate your health slowly over time. And every kill in this game is worth however many stars they are. So we have a super right there, and so that right there took out that barricade that you said we couldn't attack to. And so once we killed him, we got a star on our head, which means we are now worth two points. Oh shit, and there's a guy hiding in the bushes. And so that's another thing is that you can actually hide in the bushes. You can't see people in the bushes. So you can hide behind this. And now that we're out of combat, we're going to be regaining our health there. And so he's hiding in the bushes. We don't know where he is. We know he's in the bushes, but we don't know exactly where he is. And then again, each hero has their own special ability, so we're going to go and super that right there. Oh, we died. You generally don't want to be in your opponent's base, like what we were up and doing there, because uh, they respawn right next to you. But we are definitely in the lead here. We're at 9. Oh, no, now we went down to 9 to 10. You definitely need a good connection to play this game. And it's not too big of a, a, of a loss here when you die, especially you're only a one star. We got our punching bag, our wrestler right there. So tons and tons of strategy. Again, with your specials, you can break down those walls and some heroes can actually throw things over those walls. So they have the... That guy who's throwing things. Alright, we've just picked the lead up. So we just need to hold off for two seconds. And now we're going to win here. Play defensively, it says. So that is one of the game modes. And then at the end here, it will show you who is the star player. Which means they were the best player in that match. And they're going to gain some bonus EXP and bonus... Uh, you know, trophies potentially. So the coins will level up your, your overall account level. We're currently at level 8. We'll go ahead and do the second one here. Smash grab. So same thing. Bot brawl. Brawl mode. And then you got the co-op brawl. So co-op is going to be you and your friends. So you and your friends are going to be battling against bots here. So if you just want to practice, try some different combinations. And 
And generally, you should be able to beat the AI. The AI is not too difficult. And we are almost dead, so let's go hide behind this... this blockade here. So in this mode, it's you gotta collect these gems that pop out of the center. And then you store the gems on your hero. If you die, you drop all the gems that you have. And other people can actually collect the gems. So right now we're we're losing horribly to these uh, these bots here. We've just taken one of them out. And so you can see who a a target is here. This guy, bot number one, has no gems, so he does us no good whatsoever to kill. But we can go ahead and every time that you hit opponents with your abilities, you're going to charge up your special. So we are now in the lead here, 9 to 5. Just need to hold off a couple more, and there's a little bit of lag. So we've gotten 10, and now comes down the countdown, 16 seconds to stay alive, keep the gems in your possession. Oh, we're gonna die here. I have a feeling we're gonna die, guys. Oh no, saved by the bell right there. So one of them was a healer, it looked like, who healed us up. And a star player right there, Johnson. So you get no trophies for matches against bots. You still get some uh, overall experience points. And when you level up, you'll gain coins. Which, those coins, you go over here to unlock lockboxes to get new heroes or elixirs. So we picked up an elixir right there. Elixir is what you're going to use to actually upgrade the stats here. So you can upgrade the health, upgrade the attack, or upgrade the super special ability and so as this game is brand new, soft launched a few days ago in Canada, we're going to wait with our elixirs and actually use them once we know about these heroes a little bit more, figure out who we want to actually upgrade. Because generally, you're only going to want to upgrade a couple of these heroes and you're not going to have a lot of these elixirs unless you're a premium player. So last up is one of my favorites. This is a free-for-all mode. Ten players duking it out for last man standing bragging rights here and again you want good connection in this mode everyone is for themselves and the longer you stay alive the more trophies that you are going to earn and each hero has their own trophies so hiding in the grass is very very important grabbing these boxes here actually have power-ups in them so you kill the box or you kill other players, and it'll have this power up. So now we got a plus one, and that makes us just a little bit stronger and gives us a little bit more life. And there's this acid that comes through around the map, so you cannot just you know, lag around doing nothing. You've got to go into the middle. Oh, oh, oh! So we're going to use some cover here. Stay in the bushes to stay alive. You definitely want to have a good internet connection in this. As you can see, there was a little bit of connection issues. It makes it a little laggy and choppy. And so in this mode, I love it personally because you don't have to rely on other players. And it's, it's a lot easier than you think to actually stay alive. See, we were the third person so there's only two people left so we got rank three getting five trophies goes pretty quickly as well and we're going to gain a lot of experience points there so nine of the overall experience points find trophies and each hero will level up as well which gets you a lot more gold so let's jump back into the brawl here we're going to do sally one more time and these things fire up really quick as you can see 10 people so study the map here this shows you where all those boxes are study the map and make a plan. This is very important because a lot of people are horrible at this mode right now. You want to get these boxes as soon as possible. These are massive power-ups. Give you a lot more health and a lot more damage. So generally, if you can get a couple of these guys, 
you're gonna win the matches here. So if you can build up like a plus four, plus five in the beginning here before anyone else. So we got some smart players which are doing that. So you don't want to run into that. When he died, he did drop that bonus that buffs, but we can't go into the Toxic and really grab it. The thing against that guy, he is very, very weak up at close range. And the wrestler up here, he is actually very, very strong at close range. He is a completely melee hero. <laughs> So we are ranged here. We want to get some distance. There's five people left. We're only at plus one, which means we're not very strong. So we're going to play a little bit defensive here. We have our special ability. And you see two shots nearly killed us there. So let's go hide in the bushes. Let some people die and let the, the toxins come in. Gonna go ahead and special there and finish him off. Get all of those power ups. Making ourselves quite strong. So we don't want to worry about the bear right now. We want to worry about the hero. Oh! And we got choked in there. So that we got third place again, which is not too bad since we didn't get many power ups. Again, we're getting five trophies there, ranking up here. Watch this. So we're gonna rank up to now rank number six on this Shelly hero. So we're going to get some bonus coins for ranking up. This is the easiest way to get coins, is to jump in, in my opinion, to this Shadow Down run. Play all the basic heroes. So I've never played Ricochet here, but let's go see this. So his name implies that his bullets ricochet. So let's see if this is what he does. Oh yeah, so his bullets ricochet. He's only got 500 health, so he's definitely a weak little guy. But if you can get a couple of these boxes... You can definitely power him up. So we definitely gotta stay away. And those those cactus bushes are actually impenetrable objects. When he does shoot. He does kind of root himself slightly, it seems like. So again, this is my first time playing this hero. But it's still basic strategy. We're already at fourth place, so we're not going to probably win this match. I don't even know what his ultimate does. Oh, wow. Shoots a lot of balls. So, yeah, so I've never played him, so I had no idea what his special move is, did. So, three people left. So, we are just staying alive. I'm going to recover here by not shooting. Now let's ricochet things off the wall here. And so we end up taking third place. They're not bad for the first time playing our hero, getting seven trophies. And you can see he's almost going to level up there. So this is, in my opinion, the best way to do it, to level up, to gain gold, to gain the coins in this game. 
So aim for all of those little chests. So study the map here. You get about five seconds to see where those those boxes are. Study the map. Go for those guys. Try and avoid people in the beginning. But it's not as bad even if we die here. So we died right away. We're going to lose no trophies. So we lost absolutely no trophies whatsoever. And we can just jump right back into another match. And sometimes that does happen, especially if you're using a hero that is at level 1. And not upgraded at all, especially as the game progresses further, as people are going to be buffing up their heroes. And then, for example, this hero is... Very, very weak. He's only got 500 health points. So a couple hits and he's dead. This hero is definitely not an easy hero to play. We've got, got knocked out there by the punching wrestler. And for getting ninth place, we got one trophy right there. So it's very generous at the, the level one. So if we can just get a couple of the boxes, we'll gain 100 health every box that we get, which is a huge deal when he only starts off with 500 health. Why did you do that? Oh, we almost killed him. We were out of bullets. I got skills to pay the bills. Oh, that was not strong enough to kill him. And the punching wrestler takes us out. So definitely for the beginners, that wrestler dude is very, very powerful. So we'll do a match with him. He is, starts off with an insane amount of HP. El Primo. Definitely the fan favorite of among beginners. He is a straight melee combat. Three... 1,300 HP he starts off with. We've already buffed him up once because, again, he was just that good. But I want to hold off on my elixirs to see how everything else shakes out. So he doesn't necessarily need the elixirs, but at least you gather it so other people can't get it. And with all this HP that he has... Oh, shit! We got killed! I, I want to say that was lag, guys. Look at that. So we went down negative 6 because we're already high level with this guy. We're already at level 7 with him. In order to move up higher, you definitely have to do better than negative... You know, negative points. You have to get better than the ninth place. So let's see what El Primo can do here. So it's nice, you can take a couple hits. He definitely dishes out the punishment there, as you can see. He's got a jump as well. But we're gonna we're gonna be in trouble here. Hi. Not good when you fight another El Primo when you're at 400 HP. So we lost two trophies once again here. Definitely not doing a good job with El Primo. It's been a while since I've played him. Haven't played him since yesterday, so could be just bad plays on my part. Also, I believe there's a little bit of lag so let's grab this box, grab that box. Alright, so we picked up two boxes. Now let's go 
Try and kill these people. Oh, wow. Already dead. My El Primo skills are just horrible right now, guys. So let's go to a different hero. We are just not doing him justice at all. El Primo. Let's jump into one of my favorites in this. This is the Dynamite. So this guy has ranged abilities, and he can throw over the barricades. So he starts out really low. Starts out 600, but his Dynamite can actually be thrown over barricades and it's got the splash area effect too so he's hitting two of these boxes and he's really good in this mode Look at all these. We're gonna throw some dynamite over there. Look at that. Killed! I'm gonna collect all these things. Oh shit. El Primo! We dropped his ultimate, the bomb there. That's the only downside to this hero is that if you get stuck in a close range fight, he's no bueno. Here comes El Primo. <laughs> Drop a bomb! Run away! Drop the bomb! Oh, so not bad. We were second or third place there. So rank four. Dynamite. We upgraded there. So as you can see, this is my favorite game mode. I'm going to be playing this like all day long. Leveling up my heroes, getting some more coins. Because as they level up, you get more of those coins, which allow you to open up and get more heroes. In order to unlock the third game mode, you definitely need to unlock heroes. So the first game mode is the only one you're going to have available. And then once you get your second hero, I believe, you're going to unlock the second game mode. And they do change, so it's not always the same game mode in the top slot. Oh, there's a swordman over there. So I didn't get a, a, a good look at the map, so I don't know where the boxes are. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one up. Let's recharge my energy. So part of the reason he's so good is that he can throw over these walls. Oh shit. Oh, so using your range to advantage when you get stuck up in a close range fight like that you're in trouble because you have low HP all right guys so if you want to know how to download this and you don't know how to download it the link is down below there's a video showing you how to make a Canadian iTunes account it's actually really, really simple, guys. So you could be playing this right now. You don't have to wait for the game to launch globally. If you have an iOS device, you can be playing this right now, guys. Come on in. Can't wait to see you in action. Thanks for checking out the channel. We'll be having a lot more of this. And that will do it here, guys. Thanks for checking out the channel. I will talk to you guys later. Again, download the game. It is down below.